Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how to run Adobe Premiere Pro on a low-end PC. Let's go through some tips to help you get the best performance possible. First, let's talk about general tips. Close any background applications and processes that don't need to be running. This includes browser tabs, software like virus scanners, and chat applications. Closing these will reserve as much CPU and RAM as possible for your video editor. Also, check your power plan and set it to high performance mode. You can do this by searching for power plan in Windows Search. Next, lower the playback resolution of your video previews. The lower the resolution, the smoother your experience will be when playing your timeline. You'll find this control directly under your preview window. You can go down to 1.8 or 116 resolution if needed. Another great option is to use proxies. High resolution footage can take a lot of resources to play back, but proxies are lower resolution files that take their place. To create proxies, go to File, then Project Settings. Check the ingest box and select Create Proxies from the drop down menu. You can choose the quality and types of files from the presets. Any footage you import will be turned into a lower resolution proxy version. To toggle proxies, go to your project window and look for the Toggle Proxies button. If you don't see it, click the plus sign to expand the button list. Toggle the proxies button to go back and forth between proxies and original footage. This will give you much smoother playback on low-end systems. Another helpful feature is FX Mute. This toggle can turn on and off your intensive effects, which can cause problems on a low-end system. You can find this toggle in the buttons bar mentioned earlier. Once available, just click it to play back your timeline more smoothly. You usually don't need to see an effect rendered live unless you're directly editing it, so turning off effects can help you make more rough cuts without any lag. Moving the media cache can also improve performance. By default, this is on your primary drive with your operating system and Adobe installed. If possible, change your media cache to a different, faster drive. To change this location, go to Edit, then Preferences, then Media Cache. Browse to a new location for your media cache files. Another tip is to disable unused clips. When a video clip covers another clip, that hidden clip still needs to be rendered and processed during a preview. Instead of deleting them, right-click on the clip and uncheck Enable. This will prevent the clip from using system resources, but it will still be on your timeline if you need it later. Hopefully, this video has helped you understand how to run Premiere Pro better on a low-end computer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.